And guys, why do they have to lose you to fucking realize how much you mean to them? And then to appreciate you. Like, I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. You don't wanna fuck with me. Got the police fucking at me. But you can't be my What is up, y'all? Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Gabrielle Rihanna. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much. Happy to have you. Before we get into the video, y'all, make sure you like, you're commenting, you're subscribing. And you turn our post notification bell on so you guys can get notified every single put a video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So, for today, Movie Monday, I will be talking about one of my favorite movies, which I love and can recite, recite from beginning to end, child. It is the one and only Boomerang. So, this is one of my favorite movies. Um, if you haven't seen it, child, you need to get in tune, okay? I love this movie so much. Um, just watched it recently. And let's talk about the plot, of course. So basically, like I said on the title, on the title, on the, on the cover it says, a player who's about to be played. And that is literally what it was. So Marcus, which is anywhere Murphy is this player he's just like I want to say perfectionist but he like wants the perfect girl but it's all about the physical none of it's about the mental spiritual like intellectual like type of attraction or um connection it's all just physical as long as she looks together on the outside from tip top shape and it starts off uh the main plot is so he Marcus is so lust he was the eye candy the eye candy of this movie is Robin Gibbons she's beautiful gorgeous she got her little long hair um she has like this sex appeal to her like she's just like a seductive look walk talk just you know she's beautiful right he sees her instantly head over heels like bro what's that I gotta get to know her I gotta talk to her like I gotta I gotta do it, you know what I'm saying? So he's known for being the in and out type of dude, known for just having sex with a female like that, literally putting to little to no effort into it. But with her, he had to he had to put some he put effort into her and but end up falling in love with her in the process. But she was playing him like he played everybody else. She was like the dude, like I don't wanna say the dude, but she was like she was him. He met his match. He met his mate his met he met his match and he got a taste of his own medicine literally that is what she did for him but mind you while he's just so in lust over her because it wasn't love it was lust he was lusting over her it was just a sexual attraction it's all it was is only physical um he had this friend who is Halle Berry Halle, uh, Halle Berry her name's Angela in the movie and she's just your cares like she's just so witty and just free and um just free not really free spirited but just a cool like nice all of, she's the girl next door like she's the the she's just a white material she's the girl that guys kind of overlook person and she was his friend but he overlooked her and he tried to match her with his friend which is david allen greer but they didn't hit it off like they just it wasn't it wasn't hitting it off and so along the way, while he's lusting over um, Jacqueline, that's Robin Gibbons' name, is Jacqueline. He's building this relationship with, well, friendship with Angela, which is Halle Berry. And they became friends, like they're close or whatever. And while he's just too busy chasing after her, he's building this friendship and She's basically just treating him like he treats every other female. Like she's literally doing to him what he has been doing for years. You know what I'm saying? And end up falling in love with her. And the problem being the person that he used to be telling other female, like the other workers that they worked with about him in bed and like what guys normally do to girls. It was roles were reversed. And he was the one just kind of like getting laughed at and giggled and stuff when he walked by so much that it affected his work and when he was at his lowest lowest it was angela 
who was there for him, you know, that was, that he confided in, that he kind of built, that he built a relationship with, that was able to take his mind off of everything that was happening or whatever. And so in the process of that happening, Halle Berry and Alan just weren't, they weren't clicking. They didn't like become a thing or anything like that. Um, he ended up sleeping with Halle Berry and they became like a couple. He worked, they all worked together. So Jacqueline, which is Robin Givens, they had to uh, present like their marketing for the uh, Stranger little perfume or whatever for the people from France. And they I did that and he ended up being gone all night. And he didn't come back until like wee hours in the morning thinking she was asleep, but she wasn't asleep. She was actually up. So the next morning, child, that is my favorite freaking scene. I love that scene because I feel like I could the whole movie, but that scene, bro, I've been saying it like I could feel it, like I could relate. No, damn well, I cannot, but I love that scene. Um, I'm gonna insert it too. She's like, love, should have brought your ass home last night. What could you possibly tell me you think you know about love? I am sick of men using love like it's some disease you just catch. Love should have brought your ass home last night. You know, what do you know about love? What do you possibly think you know about love? You know, I'm sick and tired of men using love like it's some kind of disease you just catch. Love should have brought your ass home last night. Didn't you just hit me? Was, bro, she went in on him. And she was just so, like, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. Anyway, so she left dude after she slapped the child in. And he was just depressed afterwards. And she eventually, um moved and got like not moved but she went to like a different company got her own different a different position and the mind you here went back to Jacqueline oh I can't stand guys why do they have to lose you to fucking realize how much you mean to them and then to appreciate you like bro that's literally what he did he went back to Jacqueline they she kissing on him he's just like not feeling it he like nah like this ain't it you like you're not hurt that's basically what it was you are not hurt God, guys are just so fucking stupid and then he goes oh i'm in love with jack i'm in love with angela and she was like well if you love with angela why are you with me here right now he was like exactly he dipped up and left her ass mind you in the process of that happening well before this happened um so right after that happened I think this was before Angela cussed him out. And so mind you, Alan and Eddie are friends and they didn't work out like Alan and Hallie, but he was telling her, like he knew that he was a player and he was just like, cause she was trying to basically figure out if he can like talk to her. So this was before they actually slept together. Um, oh no, it was after, it was actually after they slept together. And, um, he was basically trying to see if he would care if he kind of smoothly tried to talk to her because they had like a thing but not really he got mad like because he's just he knows that he just he's derogatory towards females he don't respect them he just wants to have sex with them and leave so he was basically saying like she's a good girl she's not that type of girl to just well no girl's that type of girl but she you know like don't do that to her because she has a good heart like you know what i'm saying so they fell out because of that and then then that's when he did the thing with uh he went that's when after that that's, that you um you had you 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 could you do you wit you want you anyways so some months go by um he comes back in Hallie's life so at this point she like on her boss lady stuff she had her uh a different company and she's like the head of uh I don't even know if she was like the head of the art of the company or something he comes back to her job and telling her like I love you, yada yada yada. And she asked him, like, give me one reason why I should take you back. He ain't had one. Because she shouldn't have, because he wasn't freaking shit. Antique ways. So <laughs> um he basically telling her, like, I love you, I care about you. And then he gonna say some, I even quit my job. This one of my other favorite scenes. She said, Did I ask you to quit your job? Nope, she showed if I didn't. I mean she was in love with him. And she was also scared to get hurt again. But they ended up back, they, they ended up gotten to getting together. And I was just like, oh, so, so cute. Although he wasn't shit, he didn't really deserve her. Um, he did learn his lesson. 
uh, very late, but he did learn it and they ended up together, which I thought was But cute. the whole point of this movie, I feel like, is that you can really learn from is, um, it is a relationship that you least expect or even be the person that you least expect to be like the person for you that is the person for you. Cause I feel like he obviously wasn't expecting Angela to be the person, you know what I'm saying? Like she was everything that he needed and he didn't even know it. Right in front of him, he didn't even know it. And she wasn't that all glamored up girl, you know, with long weave and stuff like that. She was just her, like, and she didn't care about that. So, yeah another thing is you reap what you sow like literally you reap what you sow and you can keep you know treating people bad and doing how you do people but eventually it is going to come back to you and you're gonna get your karma and that's exactly what Jacqueline was for him that was like karma for him it taught him his lesson and and it really shows like you don't treat people how you would like to be treated if you want one done to you and you don't do it to nobody else and another thing you can take from this is um, looks can be deceiving. Like, don't do everything based off of looks. Don't talk to people based off of looks. Just, it's more about, it's more than just your physical appearance. Um, you know? Because Jacqueline was the eye candy, but Angela was that soul food. And it's just going to be that on that. So, I love that movie. It's a great movie. Tell me what your favorite scene is in the movie. If you've ever seen it. If you haven't seen it. Give me movie suggestions. If you would like to. All that good stuff. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And you turn the post notification bell on. So you guys can get notified every time I upload a video. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.